action, thrills, guns, violence, explosions. Bruce Willis. All coming up next season. But now, Nights into Dreams Part 2. One, overexposure to Japanese MIDI game music can be harmful to your health. There are seven levels. Soft Museum, Mystic Forest, Spring Valley, Twin Seeds, Splash Garden, Frozen Bell, and Stick Canyon. Each with four courses per level and a boss at each level. Okay, and now let's go through some bosses, shall we? Well, of course, there's Rella. Puffy, an opera lady that you have to throw through various objects and walls. Claws, a giant cat with 16 different mice bombs. Gillwing, a kind of flying fish thing. Golpo, another sort of fish thing. Jackie, a magician that throws cards at you. And Wiseman, the end boss who enjoys nothing more than sending twisters and flying boulders at knights and the kids. Now you may not know that Sega deleted the debug menu from the retail version of the game that was available on the media release of Knights. The debug mode is still available though, you just need a replay card so you can activate all the options because there's no trick to turn them on inside the actual game. Now folks, this does come with a warning as we had a play with this and yeah, it really messed with this app. Alright, so basically it's simple if you just go to make a new code or if you've already entered the code like we have you will find it already in the list like so go to the master code and if you haven't entered already this is the code f6000914 c305 b6000 b00 and then 0000 so then go to the secondary code section and enter the debug code 160FFC1C0008. Now you can change these codes slightly, just remember they are in hexadecimal. Remember to save, start game with selected cheats, and off you go. Debug nights. So little things you can do with this. For instance, you can... What have we got here? Well, while it's unpaused, you can press X to give your current uh, energy, um, those energy balls, uh, to well, pretty much pass the course. You pass the first course every time you press an X. Um, when it's paused and you press the letters A or B, it will skip it a frame ahead. Uh, when you press Z, it will crash the game. Keep that in mind. Um, X will take you straight to the boss. R will hide the data on the screen and L plus R plus Y will display the sound test. Christmas Nights was actually given away to those who purchased Nights into Dreams as kind of a thank you from Sega and the Sonic team during the holiday season of 1996. The Christmas Nights disc include two extra themed levels with Christmas decorations everywhere, mini Christmas carols, as well as cameos from Sonic and Dr. Robotnik, which were unlocked using the special Christmas presents feature, a memory game you play after finishing each level. You could also use this to unlock two museums, a time feature, and a link feature. The Saturn was one of the first systems to also incorporate an internal clock. This game used it to make sure that you could only play it for a few days over Christmas, unless you change the internal clock inside the game, which was cheating a little bit. The artwork is stunning, very polished, especially for a game that was just given away. There have been other Knights titles, like Knights Into Dreams for Tiger Electronics, which has been ported over to Tiger's R-Zone handheld console, 
as well as Journey into Dreams for the Wii, and a Japanese-only remake for the PS2 that we love to get out here. A Knight's comic has also been released. Knights has also made cameos in a number of other games like Sega Superstar Tennis, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Pinball Party, and many, many more. Hello. Hey. So that was Knights. It was indeed. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said in the start of the, um, on the in the first part, this was a very important game to me. So it was a good one to wrap up the season with. Definitely. Speaking of wrapping up the season, thank you guys for uh, sticking around for 23 episodes. Look, we've had a ball doing this. We didn't really know where it was going or what, what we were going to be able to do with this when we first started, but now we're sort of 23 episodes in, taking a break, but we'll be back for Season 2. But we've got a general idea where we're going yeah. with this now, you know? We've, we've got a good idea and we're pretty happy with this show, and uh, it's not the same as what's, it, you know, like, I've noticed there's a lot of game review shows that are very similar to each other out there, and uh, we try to go for our own angle. And so, you know, even though we're not the most popular show out there, we, we're very proud of what we do. So, thank you for sticking with us for, for all that. Well, look, there's been a few people out there that have really given us the inspiration to sort of start this and also mm. keep going and also just giving us some good information, you know, yep, yep. over time. Yeah. Oh, well, for instance, uh, this episode in particular was assisted in script writing by uh, Dargoulian, mm. which was. Thank you, which is, we, we can't express our thanks enough uh, for his, his help. Uh, thanks, Hedge, he, for that. He really, really uh, yeah, gave us the, a little, that little bit extra you know, we needed to, to, to really give this episode what it needed. Uh, thank you for that, Doug William. Um, yeah, but moving on, we've got a break coming up, so what are you going to do while we're gone? Watch other good game reviewers. Um, besides, of course, everyone knows the Angry Video Game Nerd. There's other ones out there that no one has ever heard of. For instance, our favourite at the moment is Gamer Geezer. Absolutely hilarious videos. Very, very interesting. Sometimes, um, Look, I, I, sometimes educational, but yeah. mostly just fun. You know, really, really great fun. Roll around laughter. Yeah, that's just great. Um, really MN One Two Bird is excellent. Um, in our opinion, he, yeah. he he really he puts on quite a variety show for you. You know, it really has found his own style in doing that. You know, a lot of tech tips and information that a lot of us out there have either forgotten over the years mm. or, or never knew. Uh, classic game room is somewhere where you can always go if you want to go. Uh, just a nice big back catalogue of games there. Um, he's Mark's always interesting. Got lots to offer. Seems to be getting more and more bizarre and sort of funny as he yeah, goes. Yeah, he's as he's, well. he's always got that little bit of edge to him. It's just yeah, you've got to kind of yeah. get used to him to know him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Ron Mower and Low Budget Games <laughs> from Texas. You got to love this guy. Um, and and his and his uh, what, what would you call it? His you know his demeanor. reviewer reviewer partner guy. He's just they're, they're, they're oh, both yeah. they're both the crack up. You know. Um, yes. Free Cole, very interesting new reviewer out there, um, who's got a lot of respect for me very quickly, um, just because he's been able to be able to deliver on point every time, you know, educational, very educational, you know. Um, JMCD is another one I've also watched for quite some time. Great playthroughs. Yeah, he does really good playthroughs, yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, we'd like to wrap that up. Finally, with our... With our uh, Two last two mentions. One is um, Far From Subtle Productions do a game called Angry Video Game. Oh, no, 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 Awesome Video Games. What did I say? Angry Video Games. Awesome Video Games. you got to check this show out. It's you got to really check really out that show. It's, it's just oh, brilliant. And uh, Vulcan Jedi I'd like to also uh, put a final hats off to um, because this man has been my personal inspiration into getting into game reviews and being on point. Not just giving game reviews saying I like this game, I don't like this game, but actually offering something to someone else that's a little bit outside the box. So thank you for that Vulcan and Jedi. from the very start as well, you know, he's yeah. always kept the integrity of what he's done. Mm. That's off to you dude. So, besides that, we've got a great lineup of uh, games and uh, different projects for the next season uh, we hope you stick around come to Strictly Sega channel and subscribe there and be prepared for another 
hopefully 23 episodes of a little bit more experience behind us now, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, besides that, well, thank you, Nick. Yeah, and thank you, Chuck. And thank you, everyone out there that's commented, rated, subscribed, and all that. We hope you keep doing that because, yeah, it really makes it all worth it for us. But, uh, yeah, until then... Take care.